We are only minutes away from meeting the enormous talent of Laura Branigan and her plans for the future of a brand new album, Don't Go Away, all coming up on Good Day New York. 8.13 is the time. Gordon Elliott, would you believe, is in the studio this morning. He's got a list of questions on his sleeve for Laura Branigan. That's absolutely right, James. Now, who could ever forget the summer of 1983, that sizzling summer when flash dance lit up the screen and the song Gloria was being sung in the showers by all of us all over the country. And that was the song that put Laura Branigan over the top. And now she's at it again, this time aiming for the moon. Q show album. Here is the moon. <laughs> Moonlight on Water, her latest album, and she's very happily joined us this morning at this early hour in the studios. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you, Gordon. Now, you're a very young 25, and hurtled to stardom. Bit of a surprise for you, then? With um, Gloria? a shock. I really, you know, it was my first record. I had no idea what to expect. I had this huge voice, and I got a record contract. You have got a big voice, haven't you? Uh-huh, and they just put me in the studio, and off I went. Someone described you as having been born with a sob in your voice. How do you react to that? I think it's true. Yeah. I think that um, that's the Irish in me, you know. Did your dad sing your songs when you were a kid? Is that why? Yeah, my mother. My mother sang to me every night, every single night. And um, my father had a beautiful voice also, and my grandmother. And after dinner, we all would sing around the table. Really? <laughs> your mother's Kathleen O'Hara. Uh -huh. Is she watching this morning? Yes. Is she? Oh! Hello, Kathleen. We can announce our engagement. We have very tall singing Tell them children. about the children. Yeah, we're having, we're having children that can be seen in the background of the Mormon Tabernacle <laughs> Choir. Guppy right. and uh, Goonie. What's your favorite song from when you were a kid? Uh, I think um, some of my favorites are the ones that, you know, um, the little Irish lullabies yeah. that my mom and my grandmother would sing me. Um, as far as dance music, I'll tell you one of my favorite songs is Turn the Beat Around, really? and I recorded it. Really? Uh -huh. That's on the album. Yep. Why don't we have a look at the clip so people can get an idea okay. of just how good you really are. Okay, here's the single from the album. It's called Moonlight on Water, Laura Branigan. Great stuff. Now, you know that albums are going to be rated pretty shortly with whether kids can listen to them. I wanted to question about some of the lyrics <laughs> on the album. On the single, Moonlight on the Water, it's better than Sex on the Beach. Now, is this safe for all ages, this album? Sex on the Beach is a drink. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, that's totally the wrong idea. I apologize. Now, you know, at Sex on the Beach, it's really, I think, uh, more than the actual physical act. It means it's the feeling of um, being with someone you care about or a friend or uh. just alone on the beach and ripping off your clothes at night and going skinny dipping and, you know, just living for the moment. Please use the other door. It says, please use the other door. I'm not sure if we can find the other door. And the side here. Ah, here we go. Good morning. Here we go. Press the, the uh, little enlightened uh, button. And no doubt the slumbering occupants are rousing themselves from their uh, crisp white sheets as we speak. It's a, always a good sign. Check for the window above in case there's a falling debris. <laughs> yes, we have experienced that, haven't we, Kevin? Good morning. How are you? I'm Gordon Elliott from Channel 5. Good day, New York. That's a live TV camera, but do you mind if we... Come on out. Come on out. No, come on. You can be... You can be... Now, uh, oh, that's... I see a rock music and an angry dog. This will be an interesting time. Um, oh, my God. No, no. It's just Gordon, but Glenn Schwartz is around the corner. Well, can we come in? Oh, sure. Is that all right? Yeah. Come on, please, come in. Here. Now, is your mother home? Your parents home? No, I, I live with my mother. Really? Oh, great, please, come on. This is interesting. This is, uh, what, this is what we call an active... Kevin, come... This is what we call an active morning, is it? What? Was this a bit of aerobics, was it? You I see you cleaned the rock and roll music. Yeah. Uh, play, come around. And w w what were you cleaning when we just... Uh, uh, in the bathroom. Don't go in there. You were cleaning in the bathroom. Okay, let's go. Come <laughs> on, we've got to... Everybody thinks you're one of those my houses. Oh, I see. I see. No, I don't think we want to see that. Which that's, my... It's not a pretty sight. Where, and which, where's your bedroom? Let's see if it's uh, no, clean. No, that's not pretty either. Is it? No. Oh, all young Would girls. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, I'd, hang on. Some orange juice. Look, look at this. Lay, lay, ladies and gentlemen, hold this hand out. Hold this, hold this hand out. How long have you had this shaking problem? What's, what's your first name? Joyce. Hello, Joyce. I'm Hi, Gordon. I've seen you on TV. You're really very good. You're well, very you're, funny. You're on television now. <laughs> Is, uh, don't, please don't, don't, don't. I tell you what. There we go. A young, a young girl's bedroom. 
Well, no, only people who love and know you, okay? Well, we'll Is come... this on today or tomorrow? It's on right now. Oh, my God! Morning. Good morning. There's more small locks on this than... Listen to this. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. This, is, this is Bob Mattieri. How are you? Bob Mattieri, who's the president of... And bedding. Come on, we want you to join us. Come on, this morning. Come on, 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 come on. Would you like breakfast? Come on, come on, I'll take you down. Come on. There we go. We've got a, we've got a bed. Okay, I, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to. Uh, would you like to join us for breakfast in bed, sir? What is your name? Well, um, what is your name? Alfredo Mescaliado. Alfredo. Okay, Alfredo. And your wife. Call me Freddy for sure. Freddy, what's your wife's name? Clara. Clara and Freddy. Come on, Clara and Freddy. I, I know, it's it's crazy, it's wacky, it's weird, it's wonderful. It's morning television. Hop in. Hop in there, Freddy. You're on the... And remember, we are on family television, Freddy, so keep the hands above the sheets, all right? Clara and you, don't have any early celebrations. Yes, 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 yes. Now, do you like the bed, Clara? Do you like the bed? Yes, nice. Would you like to keep the bed? Of course, if you are going to give it to us. Well, it's yours. And would you like the brush? This is Bob, who owns the company. He'll side bed it. And brush bed is all yours. Oh. Okay? <laughs> Thank that... you very much. Get inside bed. Fred, do you like the bed? Sure. Hop into the bed. Hop into the bed. Come on, put the feet. We'll be back. We'll be free... feeding Fred and Clara, uh, guys, back to breakfast, okay? okay? We'll be back with more breakfast with Fred and Clara, a little more uh, in the program. Jim, back to you. I hope they get their hands off each other. <laughs> That's a family show, you yeah. know what I mean? Get him, get him off camera. Let Fred and Clara go at it. <laughs> All right. Today we're up in Harlem on 125th Street, and we're going to speak to some of the uh, the creator of these marvelous street paintings that are all up and down the block. And the neighborhood really appreciates the work and loves it and doesn't graffiti it. The work is really enjoyed by the neighborhood. And you can look around and you can see there's graffiti on the sides of buildings, but not on the paintings themselves. They really, all the people in the neighborhood seem to really appreciate the work. People come out on Sunday and photograph work, uh, photograph their family in front of the different scenes, and I think it's great. All right, we're going to be stopping passers-by, asking them to contribute, and we'll, make it, we'll be meeting Franco the Great and Elliot down here at 125th Street, and the theme for this morning is beauty wherever you may find it. And Franco the Great mural artist is being examined by the great editor, executive... Executive publisher. ...of Art Forum magazine on these beautiful murals. More coming up on Good Day, New York. Uh, James, we are here finding beauty wherever it may be with Knight Landisman, executive publisher of Art Forum magazine, and Franco the Great, the mural artist known throughout the world. As you can see, there's some of the places he's been, and his art is currently exposed. Panama, Brazil, Canada, Japan, Germany, Norway, but more importantly... Gordon, in each country that's on, on his jacket, he was invited to come by people who've seen his work here. Okay, okay. The thing to know about Franco is that he's in all the tour books, so when people come to New York, they come up on Sunday, the streets are full with people who come to see the murals. So each place he's been invited to come to Italy, and he's done work there, or France, or Well, let's Denmark. walk around. Let's look around and see the mural. This is one of your first... Uh... Yes. This was done about 11 years ago. This is our big New York right. in the 50s. Really? This is actually Times Square. Well, let's move along to the next one. Watch it. We've, uh, we're saying that you are part of the tour stops of Harlem. People come from all over the world and, and meet you every weekend when you're here. Yes. Do us this one. Yeah, this one is a country scene in contrast with the city. Yes. And if you see, if you see everything begins in a country, that there were country before cities. So, so this is it. This is, this is Harlem. A, a bit of fresh air for the neighborhood, Gordon. Right. Harlem is a retrospect. What do you think I of Franco? I love Franco. I'm out here every Sunday morning. All the tour buses come from all over Europe. You, uh, it's a long way to drive. Germany, everybody, and they all take pictures with him. They buy all his sweatshirts, his uh, postcards. His art is gorgeous. You go, you, People come up from all over the world to see it. You, you, you could, now, come along. Your public, your public is mobbing you now. Okay, explain this next one. Explain this next one, Franco. What's this next one? Hang on, please. You're interrupting the beauty. Yes. This one is a tribute to all the black, famous black ladies that contribute a lot to the United States. And there's so many, but I only could put a few. Okay. We have a child here. This is Clara, and I asked you before which was your favorite on the block, and this was your favorite, wasn't it, Clara? Yeah, because all the women are beautiful. They are, and you caught it. You did a wonderful likeness of each one. Thank Fantastic. You. Each you. one looks exactly how they would look. Uh, and we've got to thank Lane Bryant. What is it, a shoe store? No, just a ladies' uh, dress store. L ladies' dress store, Lane Bryant. Uh, yeah, but these, these people let you use your awnings. Let's move along. Okay, what's this next one? This is... Uh... Uh, what my idea was to put that there are the pioneers of the shoes. And I uh, created something, if, you know, from a way back Western scene. All right. Okay, now what's your... Is this your favorite, Eddie? Gordon, this yes. is Eddie. Uh, hi, Eddie. 
What do you All like right. best about this one? Because um, it's a lot of wildness and excitement in it. Fantastic. The Wild it. West. Great. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. get a good view for our home audience. Eddie, Eddie, these are amazing. You are eliciting responses about the appreciation of art from just everyone you meet. Everyone on the street seems to love the work, Gordon, and that's what's great about it. All right. Here's what. Now let's move along to the next one. This is the Woolworths. Yes. This one's a little. This one is a little bit political, but I had something to say, and I'm very glad that I said it. And it says liberty, progress, right. justice for my people. Well, in, in, in the great tradition of the Medicis of the Renaissance, who have been patrons to Leonardo da Vinci and, the, and, and you know, Raphael, we have, the, we have the manager of the Woolworths of Harlem, who was in that great line. You have patronized the art of the Franco. Thank you. And why, do, why, why would you allow someone like that to paint the store? What is it you want or what you thought he was saying? Well, basically, I believe for the cultural part of it, that the people will see what we feel within and get a chance to see how we feel, how we think about uh, Harlem and how we think about ourselves. And the community you want to project. And the community we want to project, yeah. yes. We've got a one-minute piece here. We've got some music and your work, which... Uh, covers right 120 feet. It's called Franco Boulevard, isn't it? All the work you've done. Have a look at this. This will give you a more comprehensive look of Frank. This is one of Franco's, but come on in, Kenny, have a look at this. Why, why is this so important to you? Because it said so much, harmony among the races, which I think we need right. harmony in New York. And this piece for the many years... Hang on, you just... Been, yeah. uh, ...been a favorite of mine, where you have a black kid, a white kid, an oriental kid. Right. And it projects the harmony in which I'm wishing to uh, project in New York. Do you know that more people see your art than probably go into the Metropolitan Museum every year? I believe so. <laughs> You're really sure. And let's... Uh, On this piece, Gordon, Franco wanted to make a stamp, which would be a beautiful stamp. He's trying to get it That's right, from the United Nations and also from Mayor Dinkins. I wish if he could consider this as a, as a poster to, to represent New York. And the most amazing thing, as we pointed out earlier on here, is for all the graffiti all over Harlem and all over New York, none of these paintings on 125th Street have been marked in any way whatsoever. It shows the respect. Let's open the door. Let's show them what's behind. Let's Gordon, have the... Gordon, as Franco likes to say, when their businesses are, are down, his work is up. And then when their business opens, his work has to go away. And All this right. morning, they're opening up. Well, here it is. We're opening up. Franco, it's been wonderful. And uh, for many years, I've come by here and I wanted to see the man who put this beauty together and who's given New York so much. Congratulations. Thank you. You're yeah, Frank and Poison. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Franco, the passion beast of 100... Oh, we'll talk about the girls later. The, 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 the man who has given more beauty to this city than probably the art board combined. 53 Gordon's out in Hillside, Queens this morning, about to prove that if you have a good mattress, you won't need Dr. Pecoraro. Oh, let's see it, Queens. It's a dark and stormy night here on the corner. <laughs> now, here we are in an otherwise normal, otherwise average suburban corner, except for this. My God, it's the Bedroom Olympics. No, this morning we were giving away bedding from Hillside Bedding, and these lovely, charming, wonderful people were so kind to get out of their warm beds and into some more warm beds. Good morning, Clara. Good morning. Sir. How long has it been since you and your husband, Freddie, have been sleeping together in public? <laughs> this is the first time. Oh, really? <laughs> you, and you thought you'd done it all, huh? <laughs> now, where is that? Oh, Carrie. Carrie is from, uh, come, come around here. Carrie is from Good Enough to Eat. Good Enough to Eat not only serves breakfast in bed to people in the street, it's a growing niche market. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for everybody on the Upper West Side What's at 483 Amsterdam Avenue. Thank you very much this morning. Okay. All righty. Freddie, thank, thank you. you. Dora and the family, thank you very much. Bob, thank you very much thank also. Hillside Bedding. And uh, Jim, back to you. All right, Gordon, thank you very much.